Hello, I'm Dave Whipple, and you're watching Bush Radical. A little while ago, I picked up a nice little chainsaw at a yard sale for next to nothing. And it's this little dude, little Echo. Echo CS370. And uh, it's a good running little saw. It was 25 bucks. I mean, that's giving it away. But I've got a couple steels. I've got a I've got an 038 AV and I got an old 034. They're a good pro saw or, or pro sumer anyway. But uh, they're heavy. They're tough to run. This little guy is a great little great little saw for doing small stuff. The only problem is is it cuts crooked or in a dog's hind leg. Let me show you. So not only does this saw cut terrible, not only is this saw super dull, but the teeth are so goofy on it that it, it jogs off. In this case, it jogs off to the right. I mean, as a matter of fact, is when the bar gets completely into the wood, it's at such a sweep that it just grabs its own bar and, and you can't do anything with it. I was going to take this into the garage today and dial it in, but it's so nice out here. Let me get a close up and we'll dial it in right here and see if we can get it a little better. So the teeth are beat up. The teeth are filed at goofy angles and a lot of them are, are shorter on one side than they are on the other side. This saw needs a ton of work. Hopefully the bar's not worn, but I'm never gonna know that until I get these teeth situated. So let's make that happen, eh? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take these teeth, try to get all the angles the same way when I file it. Take these longer teeth and try to get them about the same size as the shorter teeth. And if that doesn't make the saw track right, if it doesn't make it cut straight and cure its problem of cutting off on a cutting off on an angle, the next thing will be the rakers. If all the rakers are right, then it's gonna have to just be a war bar that's causing that cutting kitty corner. When you're filing a tooth on a saw, you always gotta remember to pick up lift up on that tooth as opposed to just running the file along the tooth you have to make sure that there's enough upward pressure that you get the the top cutting edge and this top corner sharp because that's what really does all the work that's what does all the cutting so if you're just sharpening this gullet this round area here and you're neglecting to lift up and sharpen the cutting edge of the tooth and sharpening the point and it doesn't matter how sharp this gullet is, your saw is still not gonna cut good. So always remember that upward pressure, that little, you're picking it up a little bit to make sure you get the underneath, kind of the crest of the wave, so to speak. You wanna make sure you get that top edge nice and sharp. Man, I got some really long teeth here. I got long teeth and I got short teeth. Hopefully I don't have long and short rakers too. You can see I'm tipping this file up, I'm hogging out some of that gullet because I need to get that tooth back farther this just it is not going to cut the way it's set up right now these things are not only are they all dull their angles are all wrong and some are some are a sixteenth of an inch longer than other ones whoever's been sharpening this saw has done a, a poor job of being consistent that's for sure Still looks like there's quite a lot of life left in this chain, so that's good. Always taking and putting a little upward pressure on there to make sure that that cutting edge of the tooth gets touched. And this tooth is just chewed right up. It's got a chunk missing out of the back of it. I don't know what happened there. Okay, that's all the teeth on one side. Flip this dude around. I need to take special care to get these teeth dialed into where they're supposed to be. This is where a lot of people mess up a chain because they're they find it super easy to sharpen one direction then the other directions kind of feels goofy to them so they uh, do a different job on one side than they do on the other is that always with that pulling up motion doesn't matter what the gullet looks like if you're not getting that cutting surface of the tooth that one's still a little too big it feels like you can see whoever sharpened this saw uh, the last few times they were uh, they had a dominant hand 
one side is quite a bit longer than the other one. Also, there's some teeth in here that are quite damaged. This is so much more fun to do in a vise. I think that's pretty much it. So although I don't know if it's perfect, and I might need to go a little bit more in detail to it, let's see if it cuts better. Much better. Now I don't know how well that came across on camera and if you could see the teeth right. I don't know how well you could see exactly what was going on or I don't know if you could see the difference in the teeth. But this is an issue on a lot of saws. Oh, one person will just uh, spend a little more time going the one direction than the other because you're right handed or left handed when you flip the saw around it. It just feels weird. One way feels very natural to file and the other ways always feels unnatural. So a lot of times you get a long tooth and a little bit shorter tooth, and then a long tooth and a little bit shorter tooth. And as time goes on, you, what you'll end up with is you'll end up with a, a fairly long tooth and a short tooth, and a fairly long tooth and a short tooth. And when you get that, one side is cutting, and the other side is just kind of not doing much. And your saw cuts sideways. Hope you guys could see that. I, I hope I did a, a halfway decent job catching that on film. But if you got a saw that's cutting sideways, it could be, could be the rakers could be the bar, but generally it's the teeth. It's the mismatch in the size of the teeth. So, if you got a saw that's doing that same nonsense and cutting crooked one direction or the other, really take a second and just examine the teeth of the saw and try to get them as close to each other as you possibly can. My name's Dave Whipple and I hope that this tip helped you out. Please leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you like what I'm doing and you haven't subscribed yet. And thanks for watching Bush Radical. Be radical. See you soon.